Good afternoon. I hope you're having a really great day. I just wanted to drop in and I want to talk about something that has really been bubbling to the surface a lot lately. And I've been hearing a lot of questions of it from friends and family and it's about vote by mail. Now, as you guys I'm sure have heard that the president has turned this into a partisan war attack about vote by mail being ripe with fraud and that it's corrupt and it only panders to Democrats. But the reality is none of that is true. In the past previous past couple of elections, we've seen the president vote by mail in at least two that we know of. Most recently in the Florida primary, the president voted by mail and he's the one telling us that it's actually ripe with fraud. I mean, guys, I cannot get over the hypocrisy of all of this and it's absolutely ridiculous. And so I wanted to talk today about the importance of vote by mail in November's general election. And more importantly, how do you go about getting your mail-in ballot? So every state is a little bit different. If you live in Palm Beach County, you've probably received this in your mailbox. It's um, like a little postcard and it's from Wendy Satori Link. She's our supervisor of elections here in Palm Beach County. And when you get it, it's just this little fold out thing that tells you about how safe, secure, and simple it is to request your mail-in ballot. And you just fill this out and you drop it in the mailbox. The postage is already paid on it, if you see and then they will mail you your ballot and you can vote in the general election by mail, which is really fascinating because look, as all the states across the country begin to enter phase one of reopening and they start to, you know, everyone starts to reintegrate into society, we don't know what it's gonna look like in the coming months. And especially in the fall, we don't know. People have begun to warn about possible spikes, a second wave of the pandemic. But the reality is, is that we don't know. All we can do is listen to the experts on this. And what we can control is the fact that we can vote by mail in this election. Because if you remember in Wisconsin a couple months ago when they had their primary election, what happened? People stood in line for hours and they had to risk their health to exercise their civic duty. And that is absolutely awful. Nobody in America should have to choose between their health and casting their ballot on election day. That is just absolutely incredulous. And I can't even believe that we're having this discussion in 2020, but a lot of things are happening that I can't believe that we're having these discussions about. Nevertheless, I would encourage you wherever you live to reach out to your supervisor of elections and request a mail-in ballot for November. Because look, going to the polls is wonderful. I love going to the polls. It is one of my favorite things about being an American in this country is that I get to go to the polls on election day and cast my ballot. However, because we don't know what's gonna happen with this pandemic, I am urging all of my friends and family, they've all kind of asked me, you know, what do I do? And I'm urging them to request their mail-in ballots and vote by mail in November's election. It is so simple. And look, the reality of all this is, if it is good enough for the president, it is good enough for the American people. He has voted in the previous elections by mail. And the fact that he's taking this as like some, you know, attack on him, and he's telling us that it's ripe with fraud and that we shouldn't be doing this, it's absolutely ludicrous because at the end of the day, he is a hypocrite for telling us that we shouldn't vote by mail when in fact he votes by mail. If you have any questions about how to get your mail-in ballot, I would encourage you to talk to your supervisor elections. Feel free to reach out to me. You can shoot me a DM or maybe leave a comment down, um, down below. I'm happy to help you point you in the right direction. I've talked to some of my friends as they've reached out and asked how do they do this. Every state differs and that's really important to keep in mind. If you have any questions or maybe you know if you live in a different state and you know how to go about getting your mail-in ballot, feel free to post that in the comments as well. And I just wanna say thank you again for tuning in today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon and I will see you soon. Bye.